So let's talk about sleep. Oh, what's that? Ah, yeah. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> sleep. Uh. So getting to sleep. In general, I feel like sleep is the most important thing for yes. everyone. Yes. There's a lot of, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I just need to make sure that my book is in my backpack. And oh, can I try those slippers on that you bought today? Mm -hmm. There's always some sort of stall tactic. We yeah. all have first graders, so we've sort of been mm -hmm. through, allegedly, mm -hmm. the hard part of this. Mm -hmm. And how'd you do it? I had to sleep train her. You know, I had to yeah. do the whole let her cry it out. And then you come in and soothe her by the doorway, and then you leave, and then you come back again, and you do it for a couple nights. And by the second night, I think they start waking up. Mm -hmm. They're trained to wake up at the same time every day, and you have to I like think stop that's right. that. And when she was about, Julie was four months old, I think. I was always feeding her at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, she woke up three every time. But then I thought, you know, if somebody brought me a piece of chocolate cake at three o'clock in the morning, I'd wake up three o'clock in the morning too. Yeah, like, where's yeah. my cake? So I finally <laughs> thought, okay, I'm so done true. with this. <clears throat> and then just one night. I just didn't do it, mm -hmm. and it was horrible. Yeah. It was like two hours of crying, but yeah. I just gutted it out, mm -hmm. and she got the memo. Yeah. What about getting up in the night? Any trouble with that? Yeah, I'm really tough. I, I mean, especially for us now, it's the morning for us. Um, so yes, we have a middle of the night that happens, but they never, I do not allow kids in my bed. I don't sleep well, so the kids can't come. Do it's you tough. allow them in your bed? I do sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think it just depends. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're a little sick, Mm -hmm. or if they're actually scared. And we can mm -hmm. all tell the difference, right? Yeah. If they're really scared or if they're just manipulating us. We are all on the same page, mm -hmm. but you have to have the friends that do the opposite, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. And are they not miserable? Miserable. I mean, they never get to bed. They never get to bed. They never get time for themselves. When the are they are having sex night. with their spouse? This is my question. That's, That's my, my question. Here. It's like you need to, it, I feel like the, the, everything revolves around sleep. Everything, <laughs> well, everything. those questions you want to ask, but you can't. I don't want to criticize other parents, but I will. I think one of the mistakes <laughs> is that mm. some of them feel the need to like hold their babies until they fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And that's very sweet sometimes. Yeah. But I think the key is create a nice sleep environment. Mm -hmm. It also night. makes those people annoying friends. When you <laughs> disappear does. for an hour to put your baby to bed, come on. But see, Chris, you, you can now because you've yeah. had those years of teaching her how to sleep and how to self-soothe and how to get to bed. Mm -hmm. Now it's okay. I mean, yeah, it, makes, right. it makes sense. You set sense. the pattern, then you can make exceptions. Right. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I feel good. I feel better. I feel like I know more about this you now. You feel like you're in good. That you've I'm done the right thing. I'm in good company, and I've done the right thing. Oh. <laughs> Real Thanks a lot. <laughs>